scar tissue can form on the surface of the retina uh, and it in particular likes to form in the central part of the retina or macula and this results in a gradual blurring of vision and often is accompanied by distortion of vision as the scar tissue contracts and wrinkles the underlying retina. This requires a formal surgical procedure to remove the scar tissue and is often termed a vitrectomy and membrane peel. In order to gain access to the scar tissue on the surface of the retina, the jelly that occupies the main eye cavity called vitreous has to be removed. This surgery can be performed either under a general anaesthetic or local anaesthetic and is performed as a day case procedure. It involves making three very small incisions on the sclera or white of the eye through which instruments are placed to perform the surgery. The jelly is first removed and then once the jelly is removed a very fine pair of forceps is introduced into the eye cavity to pick the edge of the scar tissue and peel it off the surface of the retina. Sometimes the scar tissue can come away very freely in one sheet Occasionally it can be stuck to the underlying retina and come away in a piecemeal fashion. This results in a degree of unpredictability in association with epiretinal membrane surgery, but most patients, up to 80% of patients, notice an improvement in vision and a reduction in distortion. Some patients, however, do still uh, are aware of a slight uh, visual disturbance even after technically successful surgery, so one is looking for an improvement rather than a cure with this form of surgery. The improvement also can occur many months after surgery, although most of the improvement occurs within the first three months, things can continue to improve many years after this form of surgery. Often, if vitrectomy is required, uh, a cataract can form following vitrectomy, and sometimes a combined operation is performed where uh, the lens is removed at the same time as performing the operation to remove the scar tissue.